and then I got a call from the police, I would be like, oh my God, I'm going to jail. I would probably never get over it. I have PTSD for life. Versailles, hello. So yeah, anyways, yes, W parents. I agree, I'm glad my parents did that. It was definitely, definitely the right move because it could have been a weirdo, but lucky for me, it wasn't. But yeah, now I don't know who my Minecraft boyfriend is. He has just gone into the abyss. I don't even remember what his name was. Maybe my parents would remember. Maybe we could find him on the internet. That would be so fun. Just to see where this kid is at. I can't even, but like, I don't even think I can, I don't even remember what my old Minecraft username was. So I don't know how I would figure it out. I don't remember his username either. I do occasionally do bedtime stories. I don't do lives that often. I like making videos and I like wanna focus my time and energy on making videos. But I do lives every once in a while. So I'm doing a live tonight, probably doing a live tomorrow um, for um, my birthday, because my birthday's tomorrow, so celebrating early, you know, this year of my life, I really didn't focus, I really want like a little hair tie or something, I really didn't focus as much on fostering friendships, and I'm more focused on just like bettering myself, and I think it was like the right move for me. However, I will say that um, I don't really have any plans for my birthday. And that part is kind of like less than ideal. But I'll figure something out. I'll be happy. I'll get you some good sushi for your birthday. Oh my gosh, you're so sweet. Thank you. I'm gonna be eating so good on my birthday. <gasps> Thank you to wh whoever just commented on my Instagram videos. Yeah, if you guys ever like comment or like my Instagram videos or TikTok, literally makes my day because me like any other human is just like, gets in their head, gets insecure. You skip comments. Yeah, I, I'm not, I literally have dyslexia and reading all the comments is difficult. But, um. <laughs> Like, uh, I don't know what I was saying. Oh, but I like sometimes get in my head and I'm like, nobody likes this. Blah, 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 blah. So if you enjoy anything, just let me know, leave a comment. If you don't enjoy it, maybe don't leave a negative comment, but I mean, you could, I guess. Any feedback is feedback. Or if you wanna leave, an, if you don't enjoy it, leave, leave constructive criticism so I can become better. You sound like a really nice person. I try to be a nice person, but I'm not always the best. Enjoy listening to you. Thank you, Abraham. I love your name. I've said that before, but she's thank you. You guys, I can't believe we already have 26 hand hearts. Shout out to whoever just came in here and just dropped dropped all the love and then dipped out. That was incredible. Positive vibes, positive vibes always. You guys, tonight I was gonna work on vision boards with these new girlfriends of mine, um, but it didn't end up working out, which is actually kind of worked out because when I got home from work, I was just tired and I was like, I don't have energy for this. But something that I have realized recently in myself is I have a lot of like, friendship issues if that makes sense where like i'm a very social person you put me out in a social setting i'll make friends with like eight people you could put me in any you put me in a dive bar in the middle of nowhere you could put me in a nice restaurant you could put me anywhere i will make friends with people i don't have social issues in that way it's more of i'm really afraid that when people get to know me they won't like me and so I tend to like pull away really quickly from friendships or kind of avoid it because 
I don't want to feel rejected and so I would rather kind of put up that wall before the other person and this is something like I've noticed in myself and I really want to work on not doing it um so that's like a big goal for me this next year is like actually reaching out to people trying to make plans with them instead of just waiting for other people to ask me to make plans only hi jake maintaining the power i think that's good but i think it's also important like friendship should be give and take like i know it doesn't feel good when i'm always reaching out to someone i want it to be reciprocal and i think like that's something i want to work on not being so afraid of like rejection it's funny because i don't have that fear with like relationships at all or romantic situations oh you mean that's your toxic trait relatable <laughs> Um, but yes, that's what I do too. I literally do that too. But it, the funny thing is it stems from like high school. So it's like some people have really good friends in high school, but it's not that weird to have like bad si friend situations. Thank you, Pete. Um, it's not that weird to have bad friend situations in high school. And for some reason, like just some situations that happened really hurt me, hurt it hurt me yeah and <laughs> hurt it <laughs> really hurt me and was something like now I'm really afraid of rejection when it comes to friends and I tend to not be afraid of rejection right away like I'm pretty calm but like I know people like me right away it's more of like people don't want like close long-term relationships with me my fear is that they don't want close long-term relationships with me friendship wise um so it's something i want to work on i want to put more effort into it i want to open my heart more um but yeah do i know my face measurements definitely not many long-term relationships like friendship relationships or romantic I've had a few like long-term friendships, but I tend to get close with like one person or two people. Like I haven't created a new close friend as I've like come into a new version of myself. I've had some long-term romantic, I mean, okay, I'm 23 years old. So long-term to me is like three years. Cause if you think about it, like I've been in the dating game for seven eight years max so to me three years is long term now to a lot of people three years is probably not long term but yeah for my age i guess i would say but that's subjective so better to just say like i've been in like a three-year relationship and then another year relationship and then um and then three month long relationship because i found out he cheated on me really quick so that was good we got that out of the way um and then um another th like three year but it's like a situationship so i don't really know just a baby yeah literally no I d relationships are like not my issue per se like I'm pretty confident in like my ability to find a good romantic relationship and while I'm sure I have some blocks there um it's hard for me to know if they're really blocks or if it's just the fact that like I'm not necessarily the, like if I meet the right